so at the south of the trench now, we're very close to the bottom of the rubber trench. We've um, come down into this really hard, compact subsoil um, that's part of the bedrock, or just the layer above the bedrock. So we're quite happy that we're near that bottom. And as you can see, we're just a couple of inches off from here, where we've been matting along. And we've met this, which is one massive stone. And lots of theories are flying around, but most likely it is part of the original foundations. But it's just too big for them to move, they couldn't be bothered, or they didn't have all the right equipment to heave it out. Or maybe it was just the end of the day and they decided not to. But um, what we're doing at the moment now is just taking this last strip down until we get to the bottom of this rubber trench. And we should be able to clarify whether this is resting directly on top, even maybe a little bit embedded into, or whether it's been moved. Because at the moment there's no evidence of there being any mortar um, on it. So, yeah, theories are flying around. But we're feeling pretty positive about it because that says that there was a big building here that had a lot of big stones.